All right, so we're back at it again with another video, another new enclosure being built. Today we have Dylan again. He needs to get out of my videos. That anyway, for a while. Um, we have this enclosure. It was it's a decent size, you know, pretty temporary, you'd say, right? Very temporary. But um, we've got some endangered species in here that we're gonna be building a new enclosure for. So why don't Dylan tell us what we're gonna do? All right, so. Like Jonathan said, this is a very temporary enclosure. I There was a pond that went dry and I caught all these snoring musk turtles out of. And we I needed something to put them in that was bigger than that 40 gallon stock tank that I had. That's what they were in. And I kept catching more, so I built this. It was very temporary. It's not very solid. And I just threw this tarp in here, stapled it up, put water in there and called it good. And Jonathan got here and now we're gonna be redoing it and making a new one and it's gonna be right on the back side of the barn and we're gonna dig it down a little bit and then we're gonna set it on top and make it longer and put a new tarp in there and make it all spiffy Right now, we're just watering down the sides. Help it to be a little bit more malleable. It's easy access, easy to work with. Um, it's looking pretty good so far. We get that liner put it in. But I think we're making good time. We've only been working on it for like 45 minutes, you think? Yeah, probably 45. So it's looking good. So now we've got the sides up. We're just gonna kind of build up the dam on the side so it doesn't Take out or bust the wall. I'm just gonna taper it out. That's what Dylan's doing right now. This is coming along really well. Now we have what we're gonna be using as the liner. We're gonna unravel it. It's super heavy. It's gonna be a challenge. We're gonna get it finished. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we're filling up with water right now, and what are we going to do? We're going to taper this side off just like we did the front, so it makes it smooth. Alright, it's coming along real nice. Okay, so we've gotten everything done, as you can see. We started the bricks and then we realized that we had to put something over the these edges right here, so we can, and then this side would be the basking area. And we couldn't figure that out and we didn't have enough chicken wire. So, since we're leaving tomorrow on a jet plane, we are going to do something temporary. And we're gonna be taking this extra tarp that we have and making a strip here and a strip here and then putting that chicken wire right down the center so they can have some sun with the basking area right in the center. This is just temporary until I come back from his house. So, we're gonna be doing that now. All right, so it's obviously darker we had to go eat and we got this finished we got the top on the all the rubber lining and i know it's it doesn't look good but it's sufficient like we have this chicken wire right here and the basking docks we're gonna put right underneath of this tomorrow uh before we leave and it's what we got and then when i come back from ohio we're going to finish this i'm going to finish this and take all this tarp off and put walls around it so it looks a lot better. So this is what we got. We're gonna be sticking the goldfish in here. So let's get to that. All right, so these are the goldfish we caught in the last video or uh, previous video. Here they are, pretty good sizers. Just gonna slip them on right in here. Okay, so the way I got these turtles is there's a pond right up the road from me and the pond, the game and fish drained the pond of all of its water because there, it was infested with all, with fr bullfrogs and they were trying to eliminate them because they're, um, invasive, invasive here. So this pond went dry and all the musk turtles went under the mud and laid there for a while. And it was dry for like four months. 
and I, I was going up there all periodically to check to see if there's any turtles and around like the fifth month they all started to pop out of the water pop out of the mud and I built that other enclosure over there to hold them and they kept escaping from that how I don't know but I probably caught about 20 of them but a bunch of them escaped and so I'm only left with these uh, eight I believe and this one is pretty beat up it's got that shell is missing on the bottom and then it is it's missing an eye and a foot so this is a beat up girl we're, we're gonna be sticking them all in this pond Slide on in there. Let's get the other one. Get the next ones. Which is a grab bag. There's quite a few of them then. There's a couple, and all of these are females. There's not a single male. I've yet to find one. And it's probably, it's because of how hot it is where I live. And there's actually, we found one today on my back porch. They're still trying to escape that pond since there's no food in there anymore. And this, they cannot get out of this pond. We've gone over it many of times. It'll be okay. One more. That's all, oh, and there's one baby bullfrog. He's super skinny. I doubt he'll make it, I just found him. And this is gonna be the end of the video. It's not that hard. I know it's not. Like it, comment. Like, com like comment, subscribe, have a great day. See ya.